The Irish last kicker. The following contest is a triple threat match. And it's for the Raw Women's and the SmackDown Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger from what Dublin, a career Ireland. Becky Lynch has had so Becky far here at WWE. Lynch. A young lady who has prided herself on being different. A young lady who has prided herself on thinking outside the box. And she has taken that mentality to tremendous success here in WWE. Becky Lynch should be prosecuted for improper use of the metal horns out here dressed like something out of an H.G. Wells novel. And introducing the champion from the Queen City, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. Back at NXT, Charlotte was part of a group called the Four Horsewomen with Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Becky Lynch. Wow, has Charlotte evolved from those times? Corey, many people believe Charlotte may be the best pure athlete the women's division has ever seen. It's hard to argue that statement. Charlotte Flair has backed up every claim she has made since arriving in WWE. One day she'll be joining her father in the Hall of Fame. The baddest woman on the planet is here. There is only one. Rowdy Ronda Rousey. And introducing the champion. From Venice Beach, California, the Raw Women's Champion, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey's got her game face locked. She is ready to compete. their days in NXT, Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair have been best friends. They were part of the Four Horsewomen and Team PCB, but the two haven't always been sisters like they want you to believe. Ugh. I wish an immediate end to their little tea time. It's absolutely absurd. No, it's cute. Recalling your point about Becky Lynch's friendship with Charlotte Flair, Corey, Charlotte has been a major part of many important moments in Becky's career. You can't deny the bond between the two horsewomen. True, Michael, but not all moments were heartwarming. Remember when Charlotte brutally betrayed Becky in 2016? Charlotte's competitive nature always seems to supersede their friendship. This is not good at all. The I don't have you walking funny. Not uh -oh. The oh my goodness, crushing it! The champion into the cover, digging deep for a kick out. Gonna take more than that. In February of 2017, SmackDown Live was lit thanks to an epic triple threat match for the WWE Championship. 
Champion Bray Wyatt defended the title against former champions John Cena and AJ Styles. This battle overflowed with mayhem before the match even got underway, thanks to Luke Harper attacking his former leader, Bray Wyatt. Leg drop! Charlotte is in a bad way here. I'm not sure if the Queen can rebound. It's not often that the WWE Championship is incapacitated before a title defense. John Cena and AJ Styles rekindled the rivalry with a renewed enthusiasm for destroying one another. Bray Wyatt ended the match and made up for lost time as the Eater of Worlds used his body as a boogie for all the glory here. And the champ kicks out too soon. Head scissors applied. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh my god, Ooh, what impact. Some superstars who've competed in a triple threat match feel it's a good idea to have both a finishing move that brings you to a pinfall attempt on your opponent and a submission move that can make your opponent tap out. Becky Lynch setting up for the... She's looking to get out of here with a win early. She's still in this one. Oh, neck breaker from the second rope. Byron, before you mention the strategy some superstars have implemented for competing in a triple threat match, and that includes having a finishing maneuver to put someone away for the one, two, three, and a submission to make them tap out. There are many superstars in WWE who can do just that, which makes them even more dangerous to opponents. The way I look at it is you can never have enough weapons at your disposal, especially in something like a triple threat match. If a superstar can defeat someone by pinfall and submission, to me, they increase their chances of victory in a match where the odds are against them to begin with. At WrestleMania 32, the world saw WWE's women's revolution take center stage when Becky Lynch faced off against Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks to crown a new women's champion. Even by my sophisticated standards, that battle will go down as one of the greatest matches of all. Ronda Rousey's done playing. And she's back in the ring now. This might be it. Oh, my. She's... Will this be enough? Speaking of the triple threat match from WrestleMania 32, Corey, it signified an incredible journey for the Irish glass kicker. An uncover here. And the champ kicks out. And we continue. Kick right to the midsection. And I think we know what's coming up next, Michael. Indeed we do. Natural selection. This might be it, guys. So incredibly devastating. The shoulders are down. She's got some fight left in her. Still too fresh. Oh. Charlotte, big move coming. Beautiful technique. I knew it was only a matter of time. That's the kind of execution she's been looking for. And here comes Charlotte. Oh, man, right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. She's looking for This is it. This is her chance. Does Becky Lynch even know where she is? She goes for the cover. And the kick out by Becky Lynch. She's still in this one. Nailed it. I see where she's going with this. She reverses out of it. And not a second too soon. Close call there. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Not sure why, but she releases the hold. I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. Got the disarmor. She's back in full control now. All that's left now is for Becky Lynch to finish. No, she escapes it. Yeah, I don't know if she had it locked in fully, Michael. That's the impact. Things have gotten worse for Becky Lynch. She could be out of this match. This might just be the end of the road for her here, guys. That's over at this point. Well, this is where we're going to find out what these women are made of. They appear to be absolutely drained, but I'm willing to bet there's no quit in that. Oh! Crushing the knee here! What impact! And here comes Charlotte. Charlotte's done. Charlotte with the spear. The champ's in a good spot here. Charlotte just changed the momentum of this match. DDT! Lights out. 
This could be it. Look at her go. The shoe's on the other foot. Always nice. Ooh. Charlotte is in trouble. We're looking at complete domination here. Shoulders on the mat. One, two, barely at two and a half. This is amazing. Thank you, Lynch. Exploder suplex. The challenger simply will not be denied. Oh, man, Ronda Rousey doesn't even know where she is. Thank you, Lynch. Rolls through, and she's got the disarmor. The title is slipping away here. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. Oh, yes. Crashing down the hard way. That's gonna hurt. Tear your hamstring. There's a setup. From a natural selection. That's just Charlotte proving her dominance once again. Not so fast. Oh. Right across the back of the neck. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Ronda Rousey kicks out of the pin early. Ow! Ow! I think she's trying to prove a point here. Wow, what a leg sweep! Just breaking down the opponent. The champion into the cover! Two! And the champ kicks out. She just will not give up, Cole. Oh, that hurt. Knee to the spine. And again, unbelievable. You don't see that every day. Penny predicament. One, two. Too close for cover. Can you believe this? Ronda Rousey's done playing. Samoan drop. This one is over. She might have it. It doesn't look like she's going to get her to tap here. She's out. She escapes the hole. Just when it looked like her night was over, too. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Ronda Rousey got out of there in touch. She goes for the cover. Look out. Bam! That has got to be it. Hoping to end it here. Two. Three. Charlotte defends the title again. Let's take another look at these ladies going toe to toe. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. Look at her go. She's taking care of business. And if you don't enjoy watching her perform, there's something seriously wrong with you. threat match what a performance to get the pinfall victory over such a high quality opponent is incredibly impressive michael that's one of those personal wrestlemania moments and memories that will last a lifetime i'm so glad we all got to be a part of it